In this video, I want to look at finding factors of a number. So the first question is, what is a factor? Well, let's suppose a, b, and c are counting numbers, and we know that a is equal to b times c. Then we say that b and c are factors of a. So they're numbers that multiply to give us a. So let's look at a quick example. Let's suppose we want to look at the factors of 21. So what we're looking for is what numbers multiply to be 21. We know that 1 times 21 is equal to 21. And we know that 3 times 7 is 21. And these are the only counting numbers that multiply to give me 21. So the full list of factors of 21, 1, 3, 7, and 21. Now that we have an idea of what factors are, we want to find a systematic way to list out all of the factors of a given number. We want to make sure we don't miss any. One way we can do this is to divide a number by every number less than it and keep track of those that divide evenly, the ones that divide without a remainder. As an example, let's look at the factors of 40. We know that 1 times 40 is 40. We then move on to 2. We do know that 2 divides into 40 evenly, so we have that 2 times 20 is 40. 3 does not divide into 40 evenly, it would have a remainder, so we move to 4. 4 does divide into 40 evenly. And we have 4 times 10. 5 also divides evenly. That gives us 5 times 8. 40 divided by 6 has a remainder, and 40 divided by 7 has a remainder. And I can actually stop there because now I am at 40 divided by eight. And we've already listed eight, and so once we've hit this right-hand side, we don't have to keep going. If we did, for instance, if there was a number that divided 40, if there was a nine that divided 40 evenly, there would have been a number smaller than eight that I would have to multiply by to get 40. So once we reach back to a number we've already written down, we can stop. So my full list of factors, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Next, let's try to find all the factors of 72. We know that 1 times 72 is 72. Next, we go to 2. 2 does divide evenly into 72. 2 times 36 is 72. We move to 3. 3 does divide evenly. 3 times 24 is 72. Next we go to 4. 4 divides evenly. 4 times 18 is 72. 5 does not divide evenly into 72, but 6 does. We have that 6 times 12 is 72. 7 does not divide evenly into 72, but 8 does. 8 times 9 is 72. And now, Next, we would look at 9, which we've already written down, so we can stop. So my factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 12, 18, 24, 36, and 72. So there is one thing we should notice in this process. Every counting number, other than 1, will have at least two distinct factors because one times that number will always work. So we always have at minimum two factors, one and the actual number itself. One other thing I wanna point out, throughout this video I have been using factor as a noun. However, it can also be used as a verb. We could say something like factor 24, which means write 24 as a product. So we could write 24 as four times six. However, this is absolutely not unique. I could also write it as 2 times 12, or 4 times 3 times 2. So we can factor a number by writing it as a product, but it is not necessarily a unique way to factor. To factor something uniquely, we need what's known as prime factoring, and that's something we will look at in the next video.